All right, let's bring our models into Modo now to start the retopologizing process. Before we do this, we're just gonna set up the scene. We're not actually gonna retopologize in this video. We're just gonna get a solid foundation before we start that. So we go by to file and import, and we just go into the directory. And there was one thing I, I, I made a mistake in the last one, which is actually a really fortunate mistake. You can see that we have an MTL file. This is a material file. This is something which ZBrush or which an OBJ uses as a material. So if we bring this into Modo now, we might get materials assigned to the model. And we don't want that. The reason is because somebody did not disable the group button. We don't want any of this junk. We want purely the OBJ files and only that. So we're just gonna say delete the MTL file. And if we have like 50 OBJs, this gets really messy real quickly. So just disable this completely. In here, we just go to file, import. Again here, select all of them and we just import. So this might take a little bit of time as we are actually bringing a couple of hundred thousand polygons here and not just, we're not just the lowest level. Just hit okay. And okay. And okay. Unfortunately, Moto does not have an okay to all button or really a good uh, an, a good OBJ manager in general. But now we can see as we as we spend some time initially setting up the scene, everything now is going to work perfectly in terms of size. So if you go to ruler tool, we can now see the head is now exactly the way it should be. Same this, this is in real world scale right now. It's probably a bit taller than this because it's a bit stylish now, but it's not 10 meters tall. It's not 10 centimeters, it's in a ballpark of a human. It's a bit, it's a bit too large, but that's, that's fine for this presentation here. The point is, the point is that this is not off. This is, this is due to the way we set up the scene initially. So you can now see here, we get these groups here. So I'm just going to put them out of the group the various tools here and um, just rename them. Put it out, and shirt, head, hair, and eyes. Just delete groups, select them and hit delete. Oh, sorry, we should actually shouldn't call them this shirt, we should call them shirt, something like ref. Then we know it's a reference. The hair, however, we do want to keep. This is not a reference. We're actually going to use these as well. Nice ref. And put all these in a group just called ref. Geo underscore group. Because now we know this is the reference to your group. We can also give it a nice color by right clicking and just assigning it color. I, I like to assign colors to things in Moto as it keeps the scenes really clean and nice. We're also just going to check, the, check out the shader tree. Make sure there is no junk here at all. If you do have material files, you might get a lot of junk here. So this is now a clean scene where we have all the reference geometry here and we have the sear meshed hair. So we can pretty much start re him right now.